bill 5076, Representative Lombardi. It's a bill related to uh, domestic relations and domestic abuse. Representative Lombardi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, good seeing you there. <laughs> Uh, very simply, I think the time is getting late. You turn to page three of the bill. We've added some language to states awaiting the plaintiff's custody, uh, awarding the plaintiff custody of the household pets, and including the enforcement of remedy of the training or other injunctions in the office. If you look, it's as follows. You look at number one, it talks about the individual. Uh, number two, it talks about household. And uh, vacating number three about the children who were silent on pets. And you know what happens if you don't uh, drop the charges, if you don't let me back in the house, I'm gonna kill the dog, I'm gonna kill the cat, I'm gonna kill the canary, I'm gonna kill you know, the pet, uh, the pet, uh, John and Buddy. <laughs> I was gonna say, Richard's name. Your Honor, I think the nickname of the pet is Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, I think it's a good, it's just, oh, just adding a language, that's all we're doing. Uh, so. And I uh, spoke to some judges and they thought it was great. Again, it was silent, we're just addressing it, that's all. Thank you. Yes, Any sir. questions, I'll try to, yes. The only comment I have is, uh, I would suggest, say, say the, say the one, pre on the pet prior the relationship. Does that mean that's that you want that's, 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 that's a fact that the judgment that the decide. Any further questions? Response. So I, just, I would just also reiterate that, that was going to be my same question. So as a form, former law enforcement officer, we came across that situation many times. We're not necessarily talking about a family unit here. We're talking mm -hmm. about all encompassing of family units and relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, very simple to be in a domestic situation as far as what the, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what the parameters sure. are to consider it a relationship. Sure. Um, now all of a sudden you're a little It's going to be a formal relationship, as you know. And again, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if someone owns a $2,000 dog, they move in with their girlfriend, mm -hmm. they later, or boyfriend, they day later, there's a domestic mm -hmm. situation. Now we're putting the limit on by saying that awarding the plaintiff custody. We're not saying that if it's theirs, we're we're being just restricted to saying we're going to award the plaintiff custody of the household pet. No, again, that's, I think it gives the uh, judge jurisdiction or uh, uh, some discretion because it's not addressed in there. There's no, there's no language with regard to any kind of thing. Just a, just a mm -hmm. question. Did, did the discussion of service animals, is that specifically left out there for a reason? <laughs> Any further questions this month? Thank you, Representative Lombardi. Hang on there for a second. We have one witness. Um, Randall Rose. Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. Um, I apologize if this was something that was brought up in the discussion, because I didn't catch all the discussion of that bill. This is the pet custody bill. Yes. Um, and um, I like the general intent of it, my only concern of it, and I'm sorry if this was actually brought up already, was uh, just um, the case where uh, you have a pet that's not the joint custody of the defendant and the defendant is plaintiff, but a pet that's always been something the defendant alone takes care of, um, so always been um, the defendant's sole pet. Um, I think it's not a good idea to take away um, a pet that was the defendant's sole um, pet um, because of the um, the bond between um, people and pets is important um, it, um, and um, may remove a stabilizing influence in um, that person's life. I'm not trying to defend domestic abusers. I just don't think it's prudent to um, make an unrelated punishment by taking away uh, somebody's pet that might make someone emotionally more unstable. Uh, so I would prefer an exception in the line to which um, for cases where um, the pet was um, the sole in custody of the defendant. Um, as far as at least not at all custody of the pet plaintiff. Any further questions? Okay, thank you, Reno. That concludes testimony on House Bill 5076.